<laughs> hey! She got hit by rocks. Today I've got a truck that is very near and dear to my heart. This is my 2000 GMC Sierra 1500. It's got the 5.3 liter V8 in it and it's four wheel drive. I have loved owning this truck. When I bought the truck, the guy listed it for 1500 bucks and uh, it was only the ad was only up for an hour and I messaged him and I was like, would you take 1300? And he said, yeah, but there's a guy on his way to pick it up right now. And so I sprinted down there, I gave him 1300 bucks, and took it home. So when I picked the truck up, this is how bad it looked. The guy had taken an ATV, loaded it into the back of the truck so hard that he hit the back of the bed down here and bent that into the cab and bent the cab and shattered the rear window. And so with all that damage, the guy was like, it's totaled, it's gone, like junk it, which is why I got it for 1300 bucks. So I brought it home, <laughs> I grabbed the bed, yanked it into place, grabbed the cab, yanked it into place, and I took it to the window store and the guy's like, yeah, that'll work. And so <laughs> threw a back window on it, perfectly fine truck. <laughs> So when I bought the truck, it had these gross stock wheels on it. They were just chrome. They were three spokes and they looked like bubbles. GM did not make a good looking wheel in 2000. So I took those off and I threw these ones on. And the funny story is these are actually Toyota wheels. These have like little TRD hubcaps. And I just tossed those. And I thought these, I thought these looked pretty nice. I really like the bronze with the blue and the, the, the two-tone. I, I really like it. Um, that cost me like 400 bucks to switch those out, found those for a bargain too. So originally I had the right, the stock 2000s grill on there um, and I just thought it looked kind of silly. They're really round and bubbly and they, they just are too much 90s. I think 2003 and up they went to this more shield looking front grill and it's a direct replacement. So I found one off Craigslist for 50 bucks and swapped it on there and I love how it looks now. It totally changes the front of these trucks. The other damage that happened is his girlfriend had actually backed into a brick wall and bent the rear bumper. So it was mushed into the fender and that was bent. And so I just took a chain and wrapped it around the bumper and then tied it to a pole and just yank, yank, yank until it got to a point where I was like, yeah, that looks good enough. And so now it looks like this. It's not perfect, but it's a beat old truck. <laughs> and it's done its job. <laughs> <laughs> no, babe, show off your paint job. It's great. <laughs> I would I would hang that on my fridge. <laughs> so when I got this truck, it was painted Ace Hardware Special Blue. It was you can see some of the blue peeking through after my job, but I spray painted it AutoZone blue and then cleared it and this part is not pairing very well, but the rest of it's doing all right. I'll probably eventually get this thing repainted. The interior was not in too bad of shape. He put aftermarket speakers in the doors already. Um, he had a crappy stereo in it though, but like the leather's not, I mean, it's got 200,000 miles on it. It's, there's some rips, there's some tears, but for the most part, it really was in pretty good shape. However, <laughs> the driver's is horrible. <laughs> The driver's side interior, at least the leather, is pretty much gone. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's pretty used in a booze. But like I said, it's got uh, 
a whopping almost 200,000 miles on it, so <laughs> it's uh, it's getting close. I put an aftermarket JVC stereo in it for, you know, 40, 50 bucks, whatever. I picked that up off of eBay, installed that, put a 10-inch subwoofer on it, um, and so now it's pretty decent, uh, decent tunes. Huh, babe? <laughs> This windshield has been getting worse and worse the longer I've had this truck, but I can see good enough that I don't really care. <laughs> I have gotten a ticket for that once, so sorry cops. So I could talk about the details of this truck all day long, but really the reason this truck is so dang special to me and my wife is because of the amount of memories that are attached to this truck. I don't think I'm ever gonna sell this truck. Truly, this truck is the reason I have one. <laughs> I like trucks. <laughs> I would, I would not have been able to get into her heart without this thing. <laughs> so, on our first date, I had, uh, I had my old black Trans Am. I, through text, I was like, "So, should I pick you up in the truck or the Trans Am?" Duh, the truck. <laughs> <laughs> so I showed up in the truck. I was like, man. Like, just this, this truck has just like been there for the first of everything. Like, it's just been our first everything. It was our first date. It was our first kiss. It was our first smells. <laughs> <laughs> it's been there for every first. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> and um, I proposed to her in this truck. We're about to be uh, in that spot. So this is where I took the truck to propose to my wife. Up in these gorgeous hills. With views on views. On views. <laughs> this took us to the airport for our honeymoon. We drove off in this truck for our wedding. Yeah, I tried to do a Brody to flip around on a on a dirt road, and 
and I didn't do the Brody. <laughs> Instead, I went right <laughs> into the fence. That was actually the post that I hit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hit and broke that. What else? <laughs> what else did I hit? I forgot about that one. Yeah. Uh, I high centered the truck on the, on my way to you one one time when I was heading towards you during lunch. <laughs> And they dented my truck's running boards pretty good, too. <laughs> but it, has been, it really has been the most reliable truck. Now, we're taking home our brand new baby in it. He's so cute. His name's Radley, Radley Reed Smith. <laughs> Check that thing out. What even, like, what door did he use? That's well done. <laughs> Crew cab. <laughs>